Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have two DIY projects, uh, all a Dollar Tree mostly, could all be done with Dollar Tree. I have chosen to use a couple extra products from a different store. Um, I will go through all the materials with you. Um, we're gonna make a Santa hat and a rustic um, stocking. The bases are definitely from the Dollar Tree. I'm using one of the witch forms that I cut and bent to make the Santa hat. I have one of those. And then I have this um, form that came from the Dollar Tree that we're going to take apart. And by take apart, what I mean is we're going to take all of this, I'm going to take all the tinsel off and we're going to wrap it with different materials. Um, then we'll need, I'm using this, but you could use the sparkly ribbon. You can use anything you want. I am using this. Probably I'll need two of these. Um, for the Santa hat, I do have one of these pom-pom keychains I got at the Dollar Tree. But you can also do something else I'll tell you in a minute. I have two of these car chamois thingies from the Dollar Tree. They look like this. And they're in the automobile section. Just make sure your two fabrics match. Um, some pipe cleaners and then ribbon like I said or I went to Hobby Lobby and picked up this is called eternal bliss yarn and look how fat this is it's like super bulky I'm gonna use this and I also got some red now um, for the red, if you want it super bull, um, rustic at the Dollar Tree, they sell on the spool or on a, it's not really a spool, but it's burlap and it have, they have it in red and they also have it in all the natural colors, but you could use that to make it more rustic. You could use regular yarn. You could wrap your Santa hat in rope. You can really wrap it in anything you want. Um, I'm just choosing to use that because I think it's cute. So I took the witch's hat I cut off with my metal snips three of the line, three of the bars, and then I bent this bar because I really want this to be more kind of rounded. And then I took the pipe cleaners and I just wrapped them around and I hot glued it. That's it. So you need your hot glue, hot glue gun, scissors, metal snips. Like I said before, I invested in a whole five dollar pair, but they work great. You can also use some ribbon and I have some green ribbon if we want to make a bow. So that is it. Hot glue gun and a nice work surface. So I'm going to flip you around and get one more material. I need one more of these ropes out of my stash and then I will show you super quickly how I put these together. All right. So we have this ball of, it's like chenille if I had to guess or like fluff. And I just hot glued it here and up this one side. And it sticks okay to hold it there. I'm gonna actually use these bumps that are in here to hook around the yarn and just go back and forth on the top. And then maybe every once in a while, like here where there's a bar, just drop a little hot glue to hold um, the chenille in place. That's all. Just wanna make sure you hook it around each of these little doodah thingies. I'm, they're like little nibbies, nubs, I guess. We'll call them. Um, I do wanna try to, you know, get it even. But look how fluffy that is. Isn't that exciting? Okay, maybe I'm the only one that thinks it's exciting, but I do. Now here I'm getting off kilter. So what I'm gonna do is put some hot glue here and I'm gonna go under two bumps so I can get back to straight. And that's all. And I just attach it with a little bit of glue every once in a while, like I said, just in case I don't want it coming off. and Definitely, I will glue it um, to the ends. 
And here we have a little spot and I just want to kind of make sure it sticks together as well. And that's it for the top. So let me just finish it up. Oops. And then we're going to glue this last one all the way down because this is going to hold it in place. Ow, burn my finger. There we go. And then if you can see any of the color through, you just want to snip it. And then we're going to come up here on the back side and attach this added piece right there. Just so it sticks. There is the top. How easy was that? Now, if you wanted to, you could take the red and just wrap this bottom. But I was like a little rustic. You could also leave the red sparkly. And I may utilize a little of this red just to give it a little, I don't know, a little zhuzh after I put the rope on. So we'll see. But I'm going to keep the red handy, a piece of it that I took off. Now, you want to make sure you have plenty of glue in your glue gun for this ooh, next step. Um, I had some leftover rope. So all I'm going to do here is attach it on the back right here. And then I'm just going to wrap it around and around. And I will show you what that looks like. But the first step is getting a very secure first piece. You really want that first piece. Oh, ow. You really want that first piece to stick. All right. We got it all done. Um, the top is complete. I haven't decided yet if I want to I think I might, but we'll see. I really like that. Just a little bit of sparkle in between all the rope and the fluffy top. So let's do that. And then I did keep the um, embellishments that were on here, and I want to reuse those. But I'm just gluing some of this red around the tippity top here. Again, I just love a little sparkle in my, with my rustic, I don't know, call me silly. Now, for those of you who don't like the rustic look, the Dollar Tree does sell sparkly ribbon. You could totally rewrap this um, with sparkly ribbon. You could use, like I said, some of this chenille type stuff. Um, you can use anything you like. Now, this is what came on here when I bought it. And it just says, Merry Christmas. And then this little, um, holly berry. So we're going to attach that, I think, right up here. And I'm just gluing it right to the chenille. Right on that side. And then we're going to do Merry Christmas. Straight, no, we're going to do a little bit of an angle, but I got to turn it this way so I can see how we want it. So I think we'll do Merry Christmas right across the front. And I'm just putting a couple dollops of glue, really, nothing too crazy. Um, but I do like it at a little bit of an angle, and then it will stick to the rope. Just kind of give it a push. Oops. Like that. Um... On the back of here, there are these little knobby thingies. So what I'm trying to do is get some glue on those. And then anything, there we go, just needs to touch the rope a little bit. And I will show you a better up close picture of these when I'm finished. But it just says Merry Christmas. 
and I love it. And if I decide to take the Merry Christmas off, that's fine too. But for now, we'll leave it. And that is my, oh, I do want to, I think we're good over here. Yeah, we're good. So that is the stocking a la rustic, if you will, with a little sparkle. Next up, we are going to, oops, I got to take this out. We are going to do the Santa hat this way. So I'm taking this red chenille and we're going to do the exact same thing. We are going to wrap it around the frame. So I want the hat to flop this way. So I'm just going to give myself a little hot glue here and just kind of attach this is like really bulky weight yarn. You can use any yarn you want, to be honest with you. Um, I do want to attach it just on the first row. This won't be as difficult as the yarn, I mean as the rope, because it's lighter weight. But again, we may end up doing just a little glue. Sorry, I'm getting out of shot here. Um, just a little bit of glue every couple rows to make sure I don't want it sliding out of place. So that's all I'm doing is just wrapping the chenille around this form and I will glue just little bits of glue here and there and I'll bring you back before I do the white. All right, I wrapped it all up. I just glued all the way around. Now, at the end, I will attach our pop, and you can use a pom-pom, you can use anything you want. I just like this. The next step is to take these, got two of them, and we're just going to pull them up in between these spaces that I made. Now, obviously the end is smaller, so what my thought was I'll just trim it on the back after we're, you know, after I have it set how I want it to look. I will trim any excess fabric just to hide it in the back. But for now, you want to pull it up through here and get, you know, as much as you can. You kind of you really want to make it as fluffy as you can get it. Right here. Now, I have to back it up a second because I forgot a step, but that's how the beauty of this works. We want to glue these two pieces together just to try to make it one solid piece. So we're going to do right sides together. And then this is actually a scrap, which is fine. They're the same size. So what we're going to do, we have right sides together and there is a right and a wrong. You just want to make sure the two sides look the same. And we're going to do a bead of glue down here in little steps because it'll dry pretty quickly. But we just want to attach these. This is also how you would make a um, pillow. If you wanted to use this and glue it together to make a pillow, this is exactly how you would use the glue. I do not... That's not what we're doing right now, right? But if we were, that's how you would do it. And then you just let that dry for a second. And then when you open it up, you have a clean seam here, except for right there. So we're gonna, I missed a spot. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna try really hard not to pull that piece through. But you definitely want double you know, two of these at least. Now that's better. Back to the beginning. So I glued the two pieces together. We're gonna start about here, pull this up through. You want lots of fluffy, nice, big, puffy. Um, and use your side fabric opposed to your length, if that makes sense. Like you've got plenty of side fabric 
to pull up through here opposed to pulling making it so fluffy by pulling it this direction I mean you've got plenty of excess fabric on the sides you can just pull up through here and then you'll you know we'll, we'll tuck that under at the end but you got your side pieces and we're going to turn you this way just to show you how i'm doing it but we're going to need to a little bit this way and the good thing here about this is you can just pull and fluff you know until your heart can is content but i need to pull it this direction so i'm going to start at this end pull it through you guys are working through this with me just like live speaking of live while i'm fluffing this i don't know if anybody would be interested if i did like a facebook live or a youtube live one evening um i don't know we'd have to see what you guys think so leave a comment below if that's something you would be interested in and what day of the week would work best for us to do that. I have no problem. We could do like a crafting hour of some sort. All right, so I'm just fluffing it a little more this direction. to Get this all up out of here. Here we go. See all this extra? We can pull that up this way. There we go. And then, so it took two, I'm just tucking in in the back here. I don't even have to cut this stuff. It's gonna take two full of those car um, chamois things. I can't remember what they're called. But there we go. And I got to turn it this way just to see, because I think I can pull a little more, yeah, a little more this way just to get some more down here. There we go. Oh, perfect. And then I'll tuck you in under here and get that tucked in. Oh, I love it. That looks awesome. The fluff at the bottom. And then... We're going to hot glue our puff ball here. Now, if you don't have a puff ball, you could take some more of this fabric and make a ball. Absolutely. Um, but I found the puff ball and I'm just gluing literally like this biggest blob of hot glue right there. And I'm just attaching that to it gonna have to dry this is gonna take a little bit to dry and the last thing I want to do is I had this extra little um, little wreath that I made and I'm just gonna put it on here somewhere I don't know where it's gonna go yet maybe probably I would say here that's a good place for it on the hat with again just some hot glue Super easy, guys. This is so easy. And we're going to put that right there. There we go. So I need to let all of this dry. <laughs> My hot glue is literally oozing out underneath. I'm going to let this dry, and then I will get a better picture for you. So we will be back. All right, guys, here they are, the finished product. I would say on the Santa hat, I might have trimmed the ends down on the witch's hat, but if not, you can also wrap double the yarn. Um, I think that would be super cute, but I love it how plush and fluffy that looks. I just think it's adorable. And my rustic little um, stocking, I love that too. You could personalize it with somebody's name. That would be perfect. But here we go, and I hope that inspired you to try something as well. And there's so many possibilities. All right, everybody, you have a good one. Bye.